Hello guys, welcome back to yet another interesting video. So finally, a stable version of iOS 18 is now rolling out for Apple smartphones, which brings a lot of changes and new add-ons with most of the applications. In this video, let's talk about every change, what iOS 18 stable build brings on the table for Apple smartphones. So now without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here I have my iPhone 15 Pro Max and I've already updated this device to the latest build. You can see here iOS version is 18.0, which is the stable one. Firmware version is 2.16.06 and I received an OTA update over 17.6. For iPhone 15 Pro Max, the update size was 14.03 GB. And guys, now before moving ahead, if you guys find our content useful to you, then make sure to smash the like button and also consider subscribing to our channel. So as said, they have done a lot of changes. First, let's start with the lock scene changes. So on the lock scene, a minor change have been done by Apple. Previously, we were not able to change the shortcuts on iOS, but now you can make changes. For that, what you have to do is just long press on the lock screen, tap on customize, select lock screen, and now you have the ability to remove both the shortcuts and add different shortcuts here. So for example, I'll remove this torch shortcut, tapping on add, you can see we have all the options and it's not only limited to few, you can also add applications. So let me show you an example. Under shortcuts, you can see we have a toggle called open app, tapping on it, a pop-up will appear, which will ask you to choose the application. And from here, you can choose any application which you want to set on the lock screen shortcut. So for example, if I set Chrome, this is how the shortcut will look on the lock screen. This is the only change what they have done layer to lock screen. Moving on to the home screen. So here they have done a lot of changes. Now, finally, iPhones do have the ability to move around the icons on the home screen, which wasn't possible before. So if you long press on the home screen, you can drag and drop the app icon anywhere you want. Not like before, wherein we were not able to change the icons on the home screen. And you also have the ability to resize the widgets. So if I want to expand this widget, I can do with a single drag. And if I want to make it compact, that can also be done. Along with that, you can also create widgets of the particular apps. For example, here we have the Photos app. If I long press on it, tapping on it, I can create a widget of the Photos application with a single tap. And if I want to make it as an icon, I'll tap here. And now we can also customize the home screen, long press here, tap on edit, select customize and there we have few options. One of them is light, dark, automatic and tinted. So from here you can select any color profile which can be applied on all the app icons. And also by tapping on this icon, you can select a specific color from the wallpaper and that color will be applied on the icons also. Here this toggle lets you switch between dark and light mode. Also, if you tap on the large icons, the app icon size gets increased, but label gets removed. And the next change is something which Apple fans have been waiting and that's the ability to customize the control center. And with no doubt, it looks too good now. You can resize the quick setting tiles as per your requirement, depending on the look you want in the quick setting tiles. 90% of the quick setting tiles can be resized here. You can also move quick setting tiles to a different place. And if you want to add more, we do have an option of that. Along with that, there are few pages which you can see here. Here also you have the ability to add multiple things by resizing the content present on the pages. And this is how you can swipe to a different page. And now the power button don't respond to tap. You have to tap and hold to see the power menu because previously a lot of users were reporting accidental pop-up of power menu. You can add as many controls you want here. So this is one of the biggest change what they have done. And the next change is layer to torch. So here they have given the option to increase the intensity and also the beam. So by sliding towards the top side, you can increase the flashlight strength. And if you slide towards the left side or right side, you can make changes in the beam of flashlight and the animations look super smooth here. And also another change, what you guys wanna see, whenever you press any volume down or any physical button on iPhone, you'll see that slight squeeze from the edge of the iPhone screen. A minor change, but looks neat. Next change is layer to phone application. It do supports T9 dialing. So if for example, if I dial any number, the contact will pop up towards the top side. This one add-on they have done, but call recording option is still not available. Mostly with 18.1, they might add it because it was available on the beta builds. And another most requested feature was ability to hide applications. So now with iOS 18, we do have that ability to hide applications. So whenever you long press on the application, you see an option called required face ID. Tapping on it, here you get two options. One is only required face ID. So in that case, if you open the application, the application will still remain on the home screen. Whenever you open, it will require an authentication. But if you select hide and require face ID, the application will be removed from here and it will be sent to hidden folder. So I'll just tap on it and you can see the application disappears from here. 
But here in the app drawer, you have a folder now which says hidden. So all the applications which you are trying to hide will appear here in the hidden folder. And another change is in the camera application. Finally, Apple have added the ability to pause the video recording in between, which wasn't the case before. And again, it was a most requested feature. Though Android is having this feature for a long time. And another thing what they have added. So if you use timer option while clicking photos, now they have added the new option of 5 seconds, which was not present before. Previously, it was 3 and 10 seconds. Then some tweaks have been also done in the photos application. You can see a completely new layout. And if you scroll down towards the bottom side, now you have the option to customize and reorder. So depending on your requirement, you can personalize your photos application. Now you also have the option to filter your photos. So photos application doesn't have much of changes. They have also added a new application called password, which lets you save all your passwords at one place. You can save things like pass keys, Wi-Fi passwords and more. So few changes they have done in the messaging application. For example, if you want to add any effect to the text that can be done just by tapping on this icon. So there are these effects you can see on the screen and the same way message will appear on other phone. And I can also schedule a message now. So for example, if I want to wish them happy birthday, I just type that tap here and you can see an option called send later and I think we can only send message 14 days in advance and now they have also given the option to select any emoji previously there were some limited options but now you can choose from all the images which are present on your device another bigger change is in the calculator application so let me open up the calculator application so this is how it used to look before tapping here on these three dots you can get to know the history after that towards the bottom side if you press on this icon you have options like scientific math notes and convert so scientific you guys are already aware let's talk about math notes so this is something unique which i've seen on ios if you're taking math note the device will automatically do calculations so for example here i write 3 plus 3 equals and i'll get an answer here in the application itself so this is a solid implementation done and after that you do have options to convert and it doesn't matter if you want to convert the area angle energy force etc everything is available here so many required things have been added in the calculator application itself. And another feature what they have added but I don't have a MacBook to show you guys. So basically that feature lets you mirror your iPhone. You can view anything on your iPhone and control it too. You don't even have to touch the device. But we don't have a MacBook to test out. Calendar application also got slight upgrade where it also supports now gesture of pinch in or pinch out. And along with that all your reminders get synced. And you can view them by zooming out. Another nice change what they have done that's in the Safari. So for example, I'll open up my website first. So once I have the website open, you can see there are some ads popping up. So Apple have given this nice option which says hide distracting items. You need to tap on this icon which is towards the left hand side. Once you tap and later you have to tap on hide distracting items. Once done, you can select that particular item. You'll see a nice animation and that thing will be disappeared from the screen. It can come in very handy if you want to remove ads or the content which are not liking on the page. You can see how smoothly it removes. Notes application also lets you transcribe the entire audio recording with no time. Later on you also have few options like add transcript to notes, copy transcript and more. And that calculator maths note feature directly works in the notes application also. So let me show you if I do a calculation 3 plus 3 equals 2. You have an option to solve, tapping on solve, you can see the answer. And one thing which I forgot to mention which is layer to password application. So from here you can share the QR code of Wi-Fi. Just tapping on show network QR code and there we go. Anyone can easily connect to your Wi-Fi using this QR code. And some minor tweaks have been done in the settings page. So for example if you open the Bluetooth tile or the Bluetooth toggle you have a big description here towards the top side. And in the charging now you can see we have some multiple options to limit the charging of your device. Other brands just provide an option of 80%. Apple have given multiple options like 85, 90, 95, 100. And at last in the setting instead of having all the applications here now we have a different tab for the applications from where you can just tap on it and access all the applications and now the setting page is quite organized so guys these were all the new add-ons what apple have done with ios 18 if i discover anything i'll keep you guys posted this is your friend ashok signing out see you guys in the next video